And we're on. <laughs> and we're on. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. You have to... I, I liked your intro, so we're going to go with your intro. Okay. So, basically, um, this is episode one of our podcast. Um, two dads. Uh, we're we're men, and we're also dudes, and we're just gonna figure out how this is gonna work. Yeah, exactly. We um, we figured that. I mean, you know, you're in Connecticut. I'm in Colorado. Right. Um, we figured that it was a good way for us to fucking get a some sort of weekly session going, so that we can catch up on shit. Because you know, we're like Brandon said. Two dudes that are still trying to figure shit out. I'm still a kid. I don't care what anybody I am, says. I am a child. Yeah. 100%. I'm a child. And I'm trying to figure this shit out. Except that, like, now, like, I have, like, you know, fancier tastes, right? Like, I want instead well, of. No, we have we have adult money. <laughs> there we go. So, like, instead of, like, having, like, you know, the Toys R Us catalog that we look towards every right. year, okay? We got now, Amazon Prime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. At my house tomorrow. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, there's times where I'm like order stuff at four or five o'clock in the morning when I wake up and then it's there by the time I get home from work. <laughs> nah, dude, it, it's crazy. It's, you know what's it's funny insane. is that like I didn't really like look at amazon like that until COVID happened right like neither then, did i then, then i became like obsessed with ordering shit on amazon <laughs> dude there's times where both me and lacy are guilty of it uh lacy's my fiance um and we just order stuff just to because like we'll we'll get caught just searching through rabbit holes of amazon and we're just like yeah, we need this click <laughs> do, you, do you ever just like like buy shit at like 11 a.m and then at 5 p.m you realize that you need to buy another set of shit so then you end up like <laughs> by the time your day is over you put in four orders <laughs> oh yeah all the time and it's, it's not like dude and, and we're not talking four like orders for one individual item oh no 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 <laughs> no it's like four full orders and then you're like ah that should be good for the next two weeks <laughs> <laughs> right exactly exactly oh, no dude man. like i i seriously like I'm, I'm a fan of that shit man and you know what's funny is that like here i am talking about how like i am trying to be anti-capitalist right right <laughs> but i am a fucking whore right when it comes to amazon right because you want it now i mean yes like it's one of those things it, it it's the availability it's there so why not right exactly exactly and that's and, like honestly one of the funniest parts about all of it that nobody realizes so we have cameras on our house and they go off when people drive by i swear to god like nine amazon trucks <laughs> drive up and down my street every day every day yeah now same here and it's like you know what's funny is like I've also looked into that solution of like having uh, I don't know if you guys have it over there, but they offer the solution where like you can give them access to your garage. Yeah. So that yeah, they, they can just that. like drop shit. I thought about that too, <laughs> but I don't know, man. Dude, the conspiracy theorist in me says that no, I am not putting my garage code in some kind of database. I'm just exactly. not. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's anybody. Could probably get a thousand comments about how garage door openers you can program them with a cell phone from 100 feet away i don't care i just don't want my code out there <laughs> no i'm with you too and the thing you know the fucked up thing too is that like um i so you talked about having like the whole situation with like the conspiracy theory right mm -hmm. so like i already have those devices that shall be nameless because they're gonna just go off here in a minute if I actually call them <laughs> <by> name. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I have I have those devices in the house. On top of that, I have cameras, right? Right. And like I am pretty much letting people see everything that I do 24/7, but like there's a little piece of me that goes, Mm-mm, not my garage." Mm-mm. <laughs> And I don't dude, know it's why. Like, it, dude, it's the old man inside trying to come out. You know what I mean? Like th- this is that this is that old school that was that that mentality was beating our heads as kids by our parents, old guys down the street, uncles, grandparents, no, you're absolutely everybody. Right. Of like, nah, I bury my money in a coffee can in the backyard, bro. <laughs> no, you're you're absolutely right. But like, yeah, man, like there's I, I don't know. Dude, what it's it, it's that little bit of the you know the Great Depression that's still peeking through today. Like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I don't I don't that's know what it is. Grew up like, on. It's, it's like a false blanket, but it's my blanket. <laughs> and I like it. Hey, you know what? And that that is one of the beautiful things as I uh grow from my mid thirties to my late thirties, almost into my forties is that I give less fucks about a lot of stuff. But then I also find that these little, you know, like I like to call them depression era thoughts, uh, pop into my head more often. Like, you know, I I was walking into Walmart yesterday. Uh, my TV kind of shit the bed. So I had to go there and I was looking for a TV, but, I'm walking in and there's this kid parked in a handicapped spot and like has a system in the car and it's just fucking loud, like super loud, like license plate vibrating. Like, okay, bro, like, like I need like you to go and buy, I need you to go buy some dynamat. Like I'm 37, <laughs> 38. I know what dynamat is. Like uh-huh. you got to know what it is by now. No, it, it it's just like, and I'm like, Jesus Christ! What was he? What was he listening to? I don't even know. Like it was oh, that, that bad from the see, outside that I couldn't even tell. See, that's like, the shit right if, there if that was... I like. We we get a guy too that drives around our neighborhood, dude, and like yep. his shit is always loud, but I can't tell what it is because it just sounds so distorted. Like it's right. got like don't get me wrong, it's good. got it's got mad bass, but it doesn't sound good. Well, dude, and that's one thing here. So here in Connecticut, if nobody else knows, um, we have a huge Puerto Rican population. And one of the things that they do here is they aren't so much about the base. Like you will have dudes with straight up speakers mounted on the outside of the car. And you hear nothing but treble, no, like hardly any bass, but it's like as loud as you could possibly, like it's concert quality sound coming out of a 92 Honda Accord rolling down the main, main drag in Waterbury. Like it's actually pretty cool. And like, dude, these guys are doing everything. You could look it up on YouTube. There's like a big wall of speakers that comes out of the back of their Honda Odyssey. And they just like compete against each other in parking lots and random places around too. But like it's at least you could hear the music and like sometimes like it's old school bangers, things that we love, you know. See, I don't I don't mind I don't mind the and the I don't bangers. mind like, I, I don't hate like, it, but when it's yeah. stuff that like I can't understand, like bro, right. That's, that's the shit that I don't, I don't want. That's the but shit the mean. old man in me is like, turn that shit down. Like, <laughs> I don't want to hear that <laughs> shit right now. People, I'm trying to go to Walmart. Here. I gotta buy a TV. People live here, damn it, <laughs> dude. It's it's crazy. Like, I don't. But I like, don't know I go I mean. from I go from that thought of turn that shit down to why can't I understand what you're even playing <laughs> in your car? Like, do you do you ever have those moments now where like? Like you think back to like your teens, early twenties, and you look at that fucker, right? That just recently blasted that like fucking oh, stupid yeah. ass song that they were listening to, and then have flashbacks of yourself, and then think <laughs> about yourself in the old man perspective, and you're just like, What a fucking asshole. Disappointed as fuck. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Immediately disappointed as fuck. Immediately. Yes. I dude, I have those moments like because like I had that same thought. I had that same thought right there, and that in what I was saying is like I I had the thought of turn that shit down. Then I had the thought of why can't I even hear what he's saying? And then I had the thought of man, I used to have a '93 Camry that fucking bumped. (laughs) 
<laughs> Dude, I didn't know you had a 93 Camry. Fuck yeah. Dude, I had a 96 Camry. Fuck yeah. It, it, it was one of the best cars I owned. It was like the Agreed. LX CD. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you had like that bubble model, right? Oh, I, the, I, I had the one with the gold trim, leather, yeah. power, everything. And That's that what I had. Bad ass. Yeah, I it love that car, man. Fantastic. It was literally, if I could have that same car again, mint, I would own it right now. Oh, me too. Me too. Like, I, I, I remember, I totally like, the old man, that shit. I would go out and watch <laughs> it on Saturdays. That's that's the one that I had two 12s in. Like, I was, mm -hmm. like, bumping that shit. I had two 12s and put six by nines in it. You know what it is? Like, we were, like, living our midlife, even in oh, our yeah. 20s. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, we were. Fuck yeah, but it was sensible as fuck. We drove, oh, fuck yeah. we drove Camrys. Oh, Dude, and yeah. back then, think about it this way. I, $20. Yes. $20 to fill it up. To fill it up. Oh, and yeah. all week long. And, and you still got long. change back. Hell yeah. And I had lunch money. <laughs> right. And I had money to buy a pack of cigarettes. Right. It was great. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, no, I, I love my Camry, man. I loved it. Fuck yeah. It's crazy. It crazy. But, not but dude, so we had, me and Lacey had a, a fantastic conversation that I just want to bring out here. Yeah, throw it. And it kind of ties back to one of the thoughts that you had early on where you say, you know, where we were talking about you have adult money, right? Yeah. So I find myself, and you know this about me, but you probably, I don't know if you've ever put this put this together, but I myself now, even at almost 40, am, every car I buy is a car that I really wanted when I was like oh, 19. Hands down. Hands down. <laughs> Hands down. I'm okay. actually, you know what's funny, man? Like, I don't know if we can, like, so again, right? This is like our first podcast. Right. So I don't know what, I don't know what we can say or cannot say in terms of like what we have or what we do. But I will say, I'm going to put it out there and we can like address it later if we don't want it right. on this recording. Exactly. But I'm going to say that, like, really, you know, Fuck you for having a 745. Fuck you. <laughs> that's, that's... Uh, excuse me. It's a 750. Oh, oh, uh, pardon me, sir. <laughs> pardon me. I got so, I got the twin turbo V8. I'm just saying. Dude, okay. So I, I always wanted that car, right? Like I was want well, I wanted the 745. That's the one I wanted. Um, and it was and it was crazy because like I was like, fuck, I'm never ever going to have one of those. Ever. I, right. Hey. So then, so then, when I came over to see, like, when I visited you guys, and then, like, I finally got in that thing. That <laughs> thing is a beast, dude. That thing is awesome. I hate you for it. Fuck you. But, dude. Okay. So, when we were younger, we saw these cars, like that car, right? Right. Instantly, the thought in our brain was, "I'll never afford one," right? Mm -hmm. Or, or, and you know, and then as we get a little bit older, probably early 30s, somewhere around there, you're like, all right, I could have one, but you know, it's probably too much. Right. Or I, I don't know if it's a sensible decision. Well, a lot of things, kind of like you said, I, I don't know exactly what we're going to discuss, but um, at the end of the day, like to be able to make a sensible choice to buy that car and like, so full disclosure i only paid like 20 grand for the car and being able to afford that it, it's kind of like one of those things that i don't drive the thing every day it sits in my garage it, that, it's a perfect thing when it comes to thinking about okay i don't have to worry about expense of maintenance right i'm not right. going to drive the thing very often so it's not a, a constant maintenance thing it's a car that's meant to be driven but maybe not all the time you know they're yeah. not a hundred percent reliable, whatever. But it's just kind of nice to be able to sit back and make a decision like that without it. Like I'm not rich at all, but I figured out a way to do it. Mm -hmm. And I got well, and that's, one of my dream cars. You know what I mean? I, well, that's, you know, and, that's kind and, of funny. But you know, like I, I like the fact that you've taken this approach of like, getting the things that you wanted when you were younger right because it kind of gives you a sense of fulfillment right like right 
you know, like it, it makes it feel like anything that you wanted could be accomplished. Right. And it may right. not be like, you know, like, obviously, like if I see you fucking driving around a Ferrari, I know your ass <laughs> is selling drugs. I don't care what you say. <laughs> but uh, I mean, but, you're right. You're right. right. But, but, but like, it, that ain't happening. <laughs> right. But like, you know, like, like seeing you like reach these milestones where you're like making the, the, you know, the, the, the fulfillment of trying to get to what you wanted when you were younger. I think that's fucking right. cool. dude. Like, and I think that, well, and, and I appreciate that. And I want to be honest with you. Like, um, at the time in my life, you know, previously when you guys lived in Texas and we came and visited, that was, I don't know, nine years ago. Yeah. Roughly. You yeah. know, I, at, at that point in my life, I was nowhere near where I am right now. So it's oh, like cool. seeing you guys succeed, kind of move across the country to places that you've never really known before, um, you know, succeed in the way that you did and then be able to keep going and move to Colorado and do do that part. Like that was motivating to me, too. So like that's part of it is seeing and learning from you guys. And it, it it's one of those things that like we can always we always say we can con we can constantly count on you guys to steadily be there and in a good no, place. You know absolutely. what I mean? But, you know, you know what's funny is that like as you were talking about that, like I started to uh, picture that. So Nicole, um, so Nicole's my wife. Um, for for those of you listening in, um, so Nicole told me that you reached out to her because she fucked up your your wheel, right? right. So like. Like I, I found it funny that like you were <laughs> like you were almost embarrassed to call us. Like I found that <laughs> hilarious, right? Um, but again, I think that we've reached this level of like comfort within our lives where like Absolutely. if if you're if imagine imagine like 20 years ago, right? Let's say that we were still back, you know, living paycheck to paycheck and like shit just fucking sucked and in the old body more murder land yeah yeah like <laughs> if you had made that phone call that your wheel was busted i would have been like dude i'm sorry but i don't know what to do <laughs> I, I, I ain't looks, got nothing <laughs> looks, looks like i'm selling a kidney right? right but like now you know like it's in this place where like you you can pay for the wheel like like we can pay for the wheel right and not right. feel like we can't eat next week like that's right. that's a fucking milestone Dude, that's man. huge right it is and you know there there is an element to be honest like you know there's still a part of me that feels paycheck to paycheck from sometimes oh, you know like but you're right in knowing that i could cover even incidental things that come up and not not put myself in such a place where well i'm drinking water all week right right exactly. Yeah. exactly and i'm having water for lunch and, yeah you know like if you and, if you and, don't and, have to ration your ramen you're good right <laughs> yeah, right that's, that's a mouse hey that that one mcdonald's in the middle of the week ain't happening i know right ain't <laughs> happening ain't that happening. that that secret mcdonald's that you get behind Lacey's back because you don't want her to give you shit because you got okay. a mcdonald's yeah i know exactly what you're talking yeah, but about you did that shit you did that shit with change oh fuck yeah <laughs> fuck yeah hell yeah you whatever you found in like the center console dude yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah no it's it's crazy man like but you know it's 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 insane because i'm also at the stage where like i do feel old but it's not because I'm tired or because I'm physically old. I am getting to this place. And I was actually having this conversation with Alex. Alex is my son. Um, I was having this conversation with Alex because I was just like asking him, like, you know, what, what, what's cool right now? Right. Like, I'm like, tell me something or show me something that like every kid your age would know right off the bat. Right. And he played yeah. a couple of videos for me. Um, and some of them I did not find funny, but he found it hilarious. That made me feel old as fuck. <laughs> I I don't know why, absolutely. but it did. No, absolutely. It's it, it's you feel like you're losing touch with the youth. Yes. You know? And and 
honestly that that's where it peaks out for me is music dude yes like there is some don't get me wrong there's some music i listen to uh, just a little bit of a background we both are kind of in the same boat uh we listen to everything you know uh rap rock but we have a a valid love for old school gangster rap yeah absolutely. Um, <laughs> and like Dude, when I, when I hear like like this whole Island Boy thing, like oh fuck, dude, fuck those like, things. Dude, I, would offer those I heard guys that. Ass I heard that, and I was just like, I'm getting old. Instantly, that was I, my age is the first thing that comes to mind yes. when I hear some shit like that, and it's just like how like what. It leads up to the thought of us doing this podcast because if yes. that kid can go and get that much publicity and everything else, our dumbass conversations that we have on a regular, are, they, they got to be worth something to somebody. Dead on, dude. Those fucking no town <laughs> ass clowns. If they can do anything, then fuck so can we. So, but no, exactly. I'm, I mean, no, like, I'm, and we I'm, don't I'm... need hair to do it. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, right. Well, like you know, like you outlined it perfectly. I mean, like. You know, we we have a passion for all sorts of music. Like, dude, like even even now in my older age, I remember back when I was younger. I don't know if it was the same thing for you, but when I was younger, like I remember like when Backstreet Boys came out, right? And like I never told anybody that I listened to Backstreet, right? <laughs> or like In Sync, right? For me, it but was In Sync, but but now, bro, now like I am like I don't give a fuck. Fuck yeah, listen. I right. used to listen to NSYNC and Backstreet Boys. I just never told anybody. Cause like, you right. know, like I had like an image to keep up, right? Like, you know, so right. Uh, like, and, I, dude, I mean, that was a big thing for me, is there was so much stuff I used to listen to. And uh, then you're right. It's like you don't tell people, but now it's almost like you're the guy that everybody calls when it's like, all right, we got a music question. Yeah, exactly. 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 Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead we'll on. We scramble yeah. and find Nelson. He's got to know, like, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. And you know what? I I think that that is an appreciation of art is part of it, and then something to relate to too. Because there's a lot of music that I listen to that people are like, "Why?" And it either sounds cool <laughs> or I like it because I can relate to it. It doesn't need to be both. Like I've never. Uh, sold drugs. I've never shot anybody in the street, but I've listened to plenty of music that talks about that stuff. Right, but, right exactly. <laughs> you know, but it doesn't have to be that serious to appreciate it. You know what I mean? Like, you don't yeah, have to yeah, be absolutely. directly connected to it in any way. It could just sound badass in the two twelves that are in the back of your Toyota Camry. Exactly. You know, That's why and that was a big part of it. I had to hear some proper bass coming from my car. <laughs> Did you did you get a chance to uh, to watch the Super Bowl? I I did. Okay, I did. Did you? I'm did glad you, you brought the, it up. Okay, did you see the performance? I did. All I right, did. that that shit brought me back. It brought me back. I was. I my problem my problem with the whole thing was Fifty Cent being hanging upside down. Because <laughs> you thought he was gonna pass out. I definitely thought he was going to pass out. So, like, I was into it right off the rip. And then I'm like, oh, God, I can physically see the blood pooling in this man's skull. Um, oh and, and, like, he was struggling with his words the whole time. Yeah. So, like, that's where I was like, please let him stand up. Get up. Like, come, come on. Stop. And. <laughs> Like so, I I had to laugh a little bit in the in the in the in between, but I gotta say, man, like those those guys, they are performers. To be able to come Absolutely. back, you know, from two thousand three being probably the hype, the highest point for all of them, and to now, like being able to just get into that performance mode. I mean, Snoop Dogg is a constant. That dude a, is amazing. Um, and he's funny as hell. Um, 
Dr. Dre, really, we haven't seen much from him at all. Like, no, I haven't seen anything come up on him until it was released that he was going to do the special. Um, Eminem, of course, you see him all the time. Yeah. Um, with his beefs with whoever at the time, and then he just tears them apart, and it's fantastically hilarious. Um, but like 50 Cent, you see all the time because he's had, uh, he's come up a lot lately too, but. It was just really awesome to see all of it together. And then I had that feeling like, oh, I'm glad they didn't do any like old people stuff, right? Yes. And then exactly. it, it really, it really hit like maybe 15 minutes after. Like that you are the old person. It is old people stuff. <laughs> that you are the old like, person. That, yeah. That, yeah. That is absolutely. old people stuff. That that's why. <laughs> like absolutely. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> No, that's that's exactly how I felt. Like I was happy about the fact that there was something that I could relate to, but at the same time, it was like a wake up call because then you're like, "Fuck, I am old, son of a." Well, you see that Dre's beard is all white, bro. Yes, yes. And you're like, hmm, (laughs) (laughs) creeping. It's funny, man. But no, like you know, like that that also brought me back to. I mean, we did it at your house too when we were like visiting. Where we ended up going to like the old school hits, but that also made me go back to like a lot of shit from back in that time frame, which I have not gone back to. So, absolutely, I thought about a lot of things. Um, just listening to that music brought up a lot of memories from from different eras of my life. Um, and quite honestly, I will admit that from looking up all that music, it is now ingrained in my playlist again. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> It had like I have heard uh still tipping probably 350 times since <laughs> last week. Um and that's not intentional. I mean I didn't I didn't exactly turn it off, but it's not intentional to do it that many times. Right? No, and, and and there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. No. So hold on. So let's go back, right? Because I feel like again. If we're making this for our listeners, like I'm, I'm kind of doing this because I think it's fucking hilarious, and I think you and I have some really good discussions. But absolutely, I think we should give them a little background on us. Yeah. All right. So why don't you start by <laughs> like telling us how old you are? Let's go with that. How old you are? Where are you from? And I don't fucking know what else. Yeah. Whatever you want to say. Yeah. Well, I'm Brandon. I'm 38, I think. (laughs) Um, I live in Connecticut. Um, I'm originally from Baltimore. Um, And my fiance is Nelson's wife's best friend and they've been friends since school um we met 11 years ago something like that i think so yeah. something like that um when we both lived in the state of maryland um and realistically i i've done pretty much one job my entire life i repossess cars for a living um and i have a daughter and a son. Um, and that's really, that, that's kind of my background. Um, there's a lot of stories that I'm sure we're going to get into that'll fill oh, yeah, in well, the gap there, but yeah. uh, that's, that's uh, the basics. No, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. So I am, I had to think about it too, just like you. <laughs> I, am, I am, I think we're 37 still. Because I you're so, you're you're December, right? Yeah. All right. I'm November. Yeah, we're 37. We're 37. This year we're turning 38. This year. Correct. Okay. Right. So I'm 38. I'm married to Nicole. Nicole, like Brandon said, it, they're like best friends from like sixth grade, I think. Something crazy like that. Pretty sure. Um and I have two kids. Um, I have a 12 and 11 year old or 10, damn, 12 and 10 year old. Um, I am in IT. Um, 
I grew up in Landover, Maryland. Um, and PG County. I know, Pete, Pete represent, <laughs> represent. Um, but, um, but no, like, you know, like Brandon and I, we kind of hit it off. Like initially when we first, like, you know, when Lacey first introduced us to you, um, you know, you and I like obviously had the the Maryland connection, but also like, you know, just our backgrounds were very similar in that case too. Right. Um, and then from there, like, you know, I went through a period too, where I kind of lost connection with everybody, Brandon being one of them. And, you know, I was kind of like, I don't know, in my anxiety, self-discovery, self fucking whatever you want to call it stage of my life um where i kind of like you know deserted everyone and it wasn't until recently where you know like brennan and i reconnected um and tried to figure stuff out and then through the the conversations we found out that like we even had more in common than we originally thought we had in the first place and hence where that man dude was born because of the fact that we did have a lot of shit in common even though we got disconnected for a certain number of years, we found out that we still had a lot of the similar interests. We both kind of went down the same road. Yeah. Even yeah. Parallel, yeah. not communicating at the time. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Which, which to us was really cool because then we started wondering like how many other dudes are out there, right? Through the same thing where like, you know, are they still trying to figure shit out? Are they trying to, you know, be a dad when they don't have the answers at hand, right? Are they trying to be, you know, the, the supportive significant other to, you know, their spouses or whatever. Like we just, we just thought about whether or not other people were going through the same thing. And, you know, we hope that you are. And if you're not, then I mean, you can eat a bag of dicks, but <laughs> um, if you're well. not, uh, I'd like you to put your name and address <laughs> right. in the comments, please. Um, because yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a shit on your front porch. <laughs> exactly. One way or another, somebody's house is getting shot on. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, but no, like, you know, through that, like we found out that we had interest through, you know, obviously video gaming being one of them, you know, our love Ooh. of whiskey and whiskey. You know, yeah. Whiskey, bourbon. beer, bourbon, scotch, um, scotch, All cigars. Things. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. You know, even, you know, marijuana as well. You know, yeah. one of those things that, you know, like, at least at least in my age. And again, right. I don't know if that's something that we're going to bring up in this. Who knows? <laughs> you know, like, hey, I mean, it, might, I it might be it might be bleeped out and, and, and you'll probably be like, what the fuck were they into? But for those of you that know, you know. Right. I mean, you know. Yeah, you know. Even even if you say you don't know, you know. <laughs> right, you know. Um, so yeah, so you know, like I, through that, yeah, through that is how we kind of came about with this channel. And then, you know, we were also thinking about whether or not we wanted to do like, you know, specific segments or specific things. And you know, that kind of that's cool and all, but it 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 would lose the the premise of what dude man or dad man dude was. Right. Because like, I don't have time. Right. You know, like I don't, you know, I don't have I, time to plan this shit out. I just like talking to you. Right. And so. I, I was feeling very much the same. Uh, my anxiety was through the roof. Um, <laughs> just trying to make sure. I think I was a little too focused on the, the picture of the content instead of like, dude, me and you just having a conversation is content. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, exactly. And, and, it, even if it's not, I can still smile at the end of it um, and say that it was an awesome conversation with a great friend. Yeah. And like, you know, it, it's funny, right? So we both kind of had this same feeling at the same time and didn't really talk to each other about it until we really both kind of were like, hey, we need to talk about this. Mm -hmm. um, but that feeling went on for a little while, I think, for both of us. And it's it kind of fits in line with what we got going here. So yeah. Um, between that and then just this, this is more organic to me um, it, from where I'm, I'm standing and what I'm looking at. Um, it, it definitely feels different. So I, I, I just want it to be open. We can have segments, you know, if people want to hear about 
the trials and tribulations of what my dog did this week. Um, <laughs> I, I'd be more than happy to add that in, you know, when we have these weekly conversations. Um, but, you know, we can do things that way. We can this way we can do whatever we want and it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, like for us, you know, with this with with this podcast slash, you know, video conference that we're also like putting together, like, you know, next week you may be surprised with whatever content we may have. Right. Like, I mean, Brandon and I are all over the place. We just feel that like, you know, we talk about whatever interests us. I mean, like, Ooh, you know, and lot. yeah, exactly. And it's random stuff. Right. Like, you know, I recently read about the uh the moon saturn's moon titan which is fucking cool by the way we'll talk about that here in the future but um who knows like you know next week you may hear something about planets shit you may even hear about bourbon you may even hear about like you know how brandon has made some awesome something in his smoker which by the way that pork you made that so good um fire yes absolutely um you know you may even hear like some some things that may spark up a debate right like you know and you may also hear some shit that's fucking hilarious and you may also hear shit with you might hear something that you may not agree with but you know at the end of the day like you know we're 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 just two dudes that enjoy the same thing we want to talk about them we want to be able to see if other people like the same stuff um we like to learn um you know just random things like that so you may come across something that you may have never considered or you may come across something that you're just like holy shit, hell yeah that guy is right um or again if you don't agree with any of it you can eat a bag of dicks and that's fine too whatever right i mean i think i i've done a little bit of research on that topic and uh I thought, basically I thought, I thought you were gonna go <laughs> I've eaten I've eaten a bag of dicks one time. <laughs> I thought that's what you were gonna go with. <laughs> Not at all. So I, I've done the research and there is an Etsy link. Uh maybe we could find it and put it in the in the description. But you can send people a bag of gummy dicks at any time you want. Anonymously. Um you can even set it up on a reoccurring thing, like monthly, weekly, uh quarterly yearly whatever you want and uh i think that's exactly what we're gonna do for those people who don't really like it i, but, I like that idea actually right like it, it's like it, it's like punishment but not <laughs> <laughs> it's like punishment but not i mean like you know um, you, get, you get something in the shape of a dick but at least you yeah but you, it. You, it tastes, you, and it tastes great gummy bear. at least i mean who's bad at gummy bears but they're, they're dicks Actually. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, and uh, just another note, real quick. One of the funny things that I want to bring up that this this is definitely going to be about is judging people based upon what's in their uh, YouTube uh, recently watched and or uh, what what it suggests you to watch. I mean, clearly there's an algorithm for that, and uh, we do actively judge people for that. Oh, um, yes. It's yes, hilarious. Um, <laughs> I mean, mine's pretty terrible. I I do know that, but it, it's it's definitely meant to be a lot of fun for everybody. And I think that, dude, there's gonna be and no. I I would be I would struggle to believe that nobody could that that anyone couldn't actually find something that they can relate to with all the random stuff that me and you get into on a regular basis. Yeah. Um, absolutely from our views on life itself you know it it shows kind of i think a little picture of where the average world is you know what i mean and yeah no and that's it's, that's a good way of putting it like you know so you know for us like this is something that we want to do for fun we felt that you know why not try to you know get something out of it what's up lacy oh where's my kiss <laughs> thank you <laughs> Um, good night. Good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> um, but no, like you know, for us is one of those things that you know we just wanted to, you know, kind of create something that would bring us together. That would you know we could talk about shit again, right? Like it's it's the older you get, the more 
not necessarily like unfriendly you become because it's not the fact that you're not friendly it's just the fact that like yeah. you you're tired of the bullshit so you right. kind of navigate it a little bit better and you just don't have time for it so right. that's that's what we want out of this whole thing it's just to talk about what we like fuck if you guys have ideas on the things that we may like tell us we'll try it out right if you guys want to hear about something specific let us know mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, this is paisley my dog what's up paisley Paisley, tell tell our our viewers to watch us. Watch us, yeah. <laughs> I love it. That, that was it. fantastic, Paisley. Bye. That was. Bye. Um, but yeah, exactly that. Like you know, we're also it's real life, you right? Know, like you saw, you know, we 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 don't hide away from that, and it's it's who we are. I. You know, it's it's a, for me, actually, it's a little bit therapeutic as well, because I'm also letting the world know who I really am, which right. <laughs> kind of scares me a little bit. But at the same time, you know, it's 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 a good thing. So, right. But hey, like, uh, I think part of I think you hit the nail on the head on a couple things, but I, I think that part of getting older means that we're willing to let people know exactly how we feel about things like and I, I think that's that's a part that both me and you have expressed the same gratitude for, actually. Like, both of us are looking for, we're looking forward to more of that <laughs> down the road. Exactly. So, um, that, and it's kind of nice, too. Like, some of the self-reflection that I've done recently has led me to, uh, instead of fear the future, I, I kind of embrace it a little bit differently. And... Um, I'm actually looking into it more as to what's going to come up and how I can change that around for myself. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, it's just a completely different outlook. Uh, I mean, and I think the fear of getting older was like forced into our heads when we were young. Yeah. <laughs> like, and we were like, nah, fuck that. I want to be <laughs> right. right now. Exactly. I want to drink and smoke cigarettes and do bad shit. <laughs> No, it, it's it. You're right, man. I mean, like, I think that we did have that fear for the longest time, and you know, like, I, again, like, I also feared like the 32 fact, years old was terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, like, I was also afraid of letting other people see who I really was. Right. Like, I, right. I just no, like no, 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 I, because see, we all, and this may, I, I don't know, I, I think that it's it's just exclamated by, um the best way to put it um it's s it, it was exclamated by where we grew up right yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, it i feel like uh maryland in general um <laughs> there's a bit of old school there that just kind of hits a little deeper than than some other areas so i i think a lot of that feeling and some of that fear was because of that too well, you know, like, it's funny because I think as we, as we continue to evolve this, you know, obviously we're going to talk about this, but I think one of the greatest topics that we can also talk about now that you mentioned Maryland is Maryland itself, right? Because Maryland is this like really weird state where like, <clears throat> even though it's small, the state itself is like separated and it's separated by either your home base is Baltimore or your home base is DC, right? And like up the hill or down yeah, the hill. Right, right. And the thing is that, like, you know, like you have the the one group that's like, oh, I don't, I don't go to DC, right? Then you have the one group that's like, I don't go to Baltimore, right? And then right. you have like the other ones that you're just like, I don't care. Like I'll I'll go wherever. Right. I'll go um, anywhere. But Maryland, Maryland has that like weird split like that. And even though the the state obviously has the same rules, same policies same expectations you know like same everything the lifestyle of the two are very different and i think that's Absolutely. you know i think that's one thing that like we can dive into later on um and i'd be yeah. interested to, to see what your perspective is on maryland itself because i i do have like i have a love-hate relationship with maryland i i'll be honest with you man i i definitely have a love-hate relationship with maryland um i feel like maryland is a beautiful state I feel like Maryland is a diverse state. Um, I feel like if 
you like food as much as me or you like food, uh, it is a wonderful place to be. Um, I like a lot of the people. I like, uh, well, I like some of the people. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> um, I, I would, I would have to say that uh, it is a place that is very easy to uh, evade your responsibilities, um, which is a bad thing for me. Um, and I, we could, I'm sure we'll dive more into different specifics, but, um, you know, I feel like I am a completely different person that I got to move away from there. Um, but it will always be my home at the same time. I have yeah, this yeah. Uh, un, unwavering loyalty to my place of birth. Um, and, and that's a Maryland thing for sure. Is uh, <laughs> those motherfuckers love everything about Maryland? Like yes. we got a bumper sticker, bro, mm -hmm. for everything, mm -hmm. or a keychain, or or yeah, definitely a keychain <laughs> for sure, a keychain, bro. For I sure. I think there's Maryland's got to be one of the highest sellers for keychains these days. <laughs> that's has such, to be. That's such has a has to be statement. the corner of the market on the keychain market. <laughs> has to be that's such a bold statement i love it <laughs> <laughs> it is but i mean come on i mean you've seen people's keys in other states like i feel like here in connecticut it's like three keys on a key ring that's all you got but it's got to have some gold on it though oh yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> and, and it's got to have like like some sort of like crab it has to have a crab. right oh uh, it, it's got a crab or a raven or an oriole yep. like you want to i'm telling you i would i would i would definitely the the fans of professional football or professional sports in general in maryland or anything like old bay uh, old bay doesn't need to advertise nope. all right like yep. they, people will pay old bay not to advertise because like, like it, it doesn't matter people put it on goddamn ice cream you know the right? thing, the, you know that here's the other thing that like it's only a Baltimore thing, like fucking Natty Bo. Mm. Yeah, you don't see that shit anywhere else. You don't see it anywhere else, but that shit is very good beer. It is delicious. I, I, I mean, I'm also biased a little bit when it comes to some of these. <laughs> then, it, then you get into like your weird niche stuff, right? Like, yeah. Um, there's just so many like chips, right? A lot of people think, okay, you go to the store, grab a bag of chips, like you know, whatever, right? Dude, there was a period of time where I could not get Utz potato chips here in Connecticut. And like I was flavor? like, no, they didn't have them, period. What? Like, is it, was it all Lay's? Yeah, it was all like Lay's and uh, hers or something wow. else, right? So I'm like, man, I need my potato chips. And like, there's certain stuff that we go back pretty regularly. My son uh, actually still lives in Maryland. Um and we get some of that stuff almost every time. Like, there's these things called burger cookies, which if you don't know what burger cookies are, uh, you need to go on their website and just order them. doesn't matter. They deliver I everywhere now. I don't know what burger cookies um, are. How about what? Up? I don't know what they are. Oh, man. Burger cookies? Dude. That's I, not the I ones where they're like, they're like split in half, right? Like, they like have like white frosting and then chocolate frosting? No, 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 no. This is a, a cake cookie and slapped with like chocolate fudge on top of it you can't miss it what it it's it, it it is a baltimore thing um i believe for the longest time they were only distributed in the state of maryland oh um, so it's like a it's like a sugar cookie right with chocolate on it right that sounds phenomenal oh okay and it's like it's burger like b-e-r-g-e-r -E -E not right like Right, not like okay. booger. Yeah, I was burger. yeah, I was thinking about like fucking full on like cheeseburger. Burger. But like this is that this is one thing for me that that it's it's a I mean when I lived in Maryland I used to eat them all the time. They they used to come in a very convenient two pack at your local Royal Farms. <laughs> um, oh, Royal Farms. Ah, the gas stations, bro. Yes. I'm gonna fried tell chicken. you right now. I would put, Royal Farms is good. Dude. I I would put Royal Farms fried chicken up against any fried chicken in America, hands down. Like hands down. hands down, some of the best fried chicken I've ever had. In my I, life. I agree. 
hundred percent. I agree. No, I, 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 that, that's a bold ass statement for as much of a booty as I am. And somebody is going to prove me wrong, but uh, I'm here to tell you, maybe my memory is a little bit skewed because I have a little bit of, you know, I'm, I'm missing home a little bit, but at the same time, it's uh Royal farms definitely made the best chicken. <laughs> no, I agree, dude. I agree. I, I miss Royal farms chicken. That was um no matter no matter what available time at two a.m., bro. Yeah, no matter what day, <laughs> what time of day. Right, doesn't matter. They had chicken. That's banging, dude. And the wedges. <sighs> the wedges are are like no other, bro. Oh man, see, this is the type of shit you're gonna get with this podcast. You're gonna get random things that you may want to try. You may get fucking shit that you hate, and if you hate, again, let us know. I'm still gonna tell you to eat a bag of dicks. But I'm gonna still listen right. to it. Absolutely, I'm gonna I'm gonna heed it with the utmost respect, and then <laughs> I I am going to uh, then send you several bags of dicks. That's the way <laughs> to do it. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it may this may turn into just a, a food tour. Well, actually, like a mid two thousands food tour of Maryland. <laughs> that would be good, dude. Pit beef. Oh, oh, now that is something that I hold very dear to my heart. And, now, did uh, you, one one thing, did you guys do mumble sauce up north? No. Ah, see, that I think that's a DC thing. That is, mumble sauce is, I've heard of it, but it, it is definitely a DC Dude, thing. Dude, mumble sauce is so good. It's like a, it's like a tangy, sweet and sour like ketchupy barbecuey sauce that normally you would get at like your local Chinese restaurant where you would order a four pack of wings. Um, and then either it comes with fried rice or crinkle cut fries. I'm not a big fan of crinkle cut fries, so I'd go with the fried rice, but then you have the mumble sauce. Mm. So that, good. That, I think that's that's definitely unique to uh the greater dmv yeah i um, think so definitely definitely got to be down that way because mumble sauce wasn't a big thing but then again you had other other things but I, my thing was is even at the time traveling around the state into so many different areas there was certain things that that it's almost like little bits and pieces stuck out of each one like bro i don't know how many times i was down deep deep in Anne Arundel county and uh you know Montgomery County or PG County, and I had to stop at a Bojangles and get me some of them blueberry biscuits. Oh, forgot about that. Yes, <laughs> those biscuits were the shit. Their chicken, their chicken is whack, but those their biscuits chicken is just... whack as fuck. Yeah. Everything about Bojangles sucks. Yeah, their fries are spicy as shit for no reason. I did not like any of the <laughs> exactly. food I had there, but I would stop there for those blueberry biscuits every goddamn time. That is true, man. I forgot about those biscuits. Every those were time. good. Those were good. Yeah, Bojangles chicken, like it just tasted watery. Why it was gross. Like I I felt like it was boiled chicken. <laughs> it was like, boiled. <laughs> it was boiled chicken, dude. It was oh, terrible. It was terrible. It was terrible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially so, when you had to compare it to Royal Farms, too. So. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So yeah, so see, this is the type of shit you're gonna get, guys. Um right. so we're hoping that you ride along with us, you grow with us. You give us insight into what you guys want to know, want to hear. Um, yeah, and definitely. I I definitely am interested in what the suggestions are to look yeah. at. I mean, we're not afraid to turn this into a bit of a review time or space uh, as part of this either, because um, I know one of the coolest things, and you alluded to it with our Amazon habits. <laughs> is having adult money and being able to try shit out when you see yes, it. Yes, um, exactly. And, you know, I think that's a big thing, too, is, you know, hobbies have become a little bit more a part of my life. Um, different things. I play golf regularly, uh, except for not right now. I just had surgery. Um, but I, that golf is a big part of my life. My other hobbies, uh, shooting, uh, different things are all part of my part of my life now where hobbies weren't so as important you know, a couple of years back for me, but now it's like something to get into. And then everybody winds up buying shit they hate and shit they love. And 
sometimes this is the place you go to figure that stuff out you know exactly exactly well and, and you know like the other thing too with us is that you know if you're easily offended we're probably not for you but sorry but, but either way like we <laughs> will we'll tell it like it is you know like we absolutely you know, obviously I mean, like we'll if you're offended, if you're offended by pretty much anything that we have to say um i think they make a pair of shoes for you they're called the air karens and i believe they're available online uh that that drop may not have happened yet but i would uh i would i would really suggest to the nike folks that they need to get on that that was good i wasn't i wasn't ready for that that was good that was good uh but no like you know like we we we'll tell it like it is obviously you know there are going to be things that like we're going to say and it's because of the fact of where we grew up you know those are the things that we we were right. taught right and if we say anything educate us if we say please anything, do and that, that is we, something that yeah that we're open on. we're, we're open to that. we are open to learn from if i'm wrong about anything please tell me because that means that i probably don't know as much as i want to about exactly exactly I, what we're talking about yeah just what we ask you is to assume good intent because we are not i mean we're, we're assholes really but but we are. we're but we're not the type to like we're genuinely good human beings yeah like you know like we, we we have kids right we have families and we don't want them to hurt either we don't want people saying dumb shit to them either so we're learning through this but at the same time you know like we will tell you what's in our heart and our mind and we're hoping that you can let us know the same so, absolutely yeah well and part of part of what we want to do is open up communication about some of that stuff too right yes like that's been something we've talked about a lot is kind of us being able to talk about how we feel about stuff and not just shove it in a hole somewhere because regardless of what anybody says you do get full <laughs> of mm -hmm. shit that you need to get rid of once in a while no absolutely um, absolutely so that, that's a big thing is i, I want to create some kind of space where that's that's welcomed mm -hmm. and pretty okay yeah and then we're you know like we're also looking to make this into again right something that people can grow with us so whatever insight you have let us know so but that's absolutely that's pretty much what we're what we're after so you're going to get a lot of that you're going to get a lot of random shit you're going to get a lot of things that you may agree with not agree with it's it's all in fun and it's in the sense of trying to be a dude and again right. by the way for those of you that are also like you know not identifying yourself as a uh, dude dude to us doesn't mean a guy no. Due to us as somebody that's just like willing to hang out, somebody that like understand that there's like, you know, it, shit it, that we it all kind of like. brings a new meaning to homies. Yeah, exactly. Saying, like, you know, uh, yeah. that that's how I look at it is, uh, you know, I, I kind of want this whole thing to turn into like somebody can sit down and actually relate, laugh a little bit. Maybe even get a little bit frustrated about, about what we have to say, but get them thinking about something, you know, yeah, exactly. and because doing that is, is a big deal. Yeah. You know? And we're, you know, we're also hoping to like, you know, bring in some other dudes in this whole thing, you know, like right. other people that want to chat with us and, you know, want to, again, share their experiences. I think that's, that's really cool. So we'll definitely get that. And again, we're hoping that you guys are, are growing with us and go on this journey with us. And worst case scenario, if it doesn't go anywhere, at least I'm talking to like one of my good friends, you know, and, and yeah, getting to share. Absolutely. Them. And then we can show this to our grandkids. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if, yeah. if nothing else, there right. is record. Just to, of... just to embarrass them. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but Dude, yeah. could you imagine us in like, 2057. Mm. Like, I'm going to be embarrassing all, everyone. Oh, I'm wearing underwear. Like, I am, I'm, I'm looking forward to like the day you and I talked about this, but the yeah. day where I can walk to the gym and not care. Like, well, for one, 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 let me stop right there. 
let me let me stop with the day that I actually go to a gym. That's number one. <laughs> <laughs> That's number one. Number but two. But I got enough time. Right, right. To actually number, go to the gym. <laughs> number two, when I make it to the gym, I want to be able to like be like old man fucking James and just have my balls dangling all over the place. Right. Not really caring about anything. Like I just right. want to get my shower, get my workout on, not in that order, but then like, you know, being able to like enjoy life as much as those dudes do. That's right. basically what I'm after. I want to be that bored. <laughs> oh my God. That's a good slogan. I want to be that bored. That's good. That's good. I like that. So we may have started our own hashtag. Yeah. So uh, we do have social media guys. Um, and we're going to be throwing some stuff up on there too. Um, yeah. Probably using some of this here kind of just to get some stuff out of there, out there um, as this is the beginning. Um, yeah. And it, dude, I I just I just think this is like you said we we have we're, we're able to just get together for an hour and bullshit about yeah. stuff that we're into or whatever it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, so look out for us. You know, thank you for for joining us on this first one, and uh, we look forward to uh, you know letting you guys know more about our world and me making some more you know more acquaintances that can give us some insight into how to be more more of a dude right so but yeah guys. guys yeah on that note have a good one we'll catch you on next time and uh thanks again for joining bye See you.